Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So welcome to Excel World. So today we, we will see the file tab. So our focus of the day will be file tab. So our learning will be in the same pattern as earlier. So first we will be putting our focus of the day. Then we will be seeing the definition of our focus of the day, which is file tab. And then we will be checking any shortcuts related to it and any additional notes related to it. So we will be learning the file tab in detail and we will be learning the different segments or features attached to file tab. And we will try to understand file tab in brief and we will try to get maximum out of it that what are the different features attached to file tab which we can use in our day to day life. So file tab is is the first tab in Excel file and it requires attention while learning basics of Excel. It has lots of feature in which we will be learning in this video. So file tab we can say it is the first tab and it has very important features in it which we have to learn and which we will be learning in parts. So we can say that in file tab we have different important functions which are important to learn. So those are basics but then also we have to learn those things in brief because these small, small things are important because if our roots are strong then we can grow easily. So we have to strengthen our basics first and as we know if each and every things we know small parts also we know basic things then also we can brush up our basics and we can see what are the different things we have and we can just rem remind ourselves and we can get maximum out of it so we have now this file tab the first tab and in this we have different sub part which are new open save or save as print then share then export then we have next which is publish so these are the important features provided in file tab and last one which ha we have is option so we can see the third one which is a save or save as so as the name saves save or save as both are looks like the similar but they have different properties and they are used distinctively so both are used in different aspects so as the name says all the things we can able to get from those like new through new we can able to know that new is used to open a new notebook or new excel file then open is used to open a saved excel file which is already saved in the desktop then save or save as save is used to save any excel file and then save as used is used to save any already excel file to different location using different name then we have print to take the print of our excel file then we have share to share the our excel file with different person then we have export to export our excel file to different location then we have publish to publish our excel file to different channels and then we have options to through which we can add more different features in our excel file so now we will be learning each features one by one first is new new tab in which whenever we require to require a new excel file to open we use this tab we go to file the new to open a new excel so as we already said you that 
new tab is used to open a new excel file so this is only we have stated here that whenever we require to uh, open a new file in excel we use this tab so we will click on the file tab first and then we will go to new tab and then when we click on the new tab the new excel file will pop up so like this we can open multiple files in excel and we can use different files according to the different needs so new tab is also very important to learn because we need to know that how to open a file how to close a file how to refresh a file how to save a file how to share a file these are the important things which we have to learn in excel first and there are lots of people who don't know these things and they are not aware about it so this video is mostly for those persons who are just starting to learn the excel who just know that what the word is excel and they are totally fresh to our channel so this is this video is dedicated to that person so because we are we are starting from a to z so we will be covering each and every topic and we will be trying to give maximum knowledge to you through our channel so here we have put the shortcut for new tab which is control plus n so you have to press control and then you have to put n n so when you put both things together so a new excel file will open so this saves your time whenever you wanted to open a new excel file within a second so you have to learn all these shortcuts in excel and it will help you to add value in your organization plus it will help you to add value to your excel knowledge so it is very important to learn this x shortcuts of excel now we will learn the second feature of file tab which is open tab open tab is used when we have to open a file which is already created and saved somewhere we will use the browse tab in it and select our destination and then open the file so we will first click on open then a dialog box will open so in that dialog box we will click on the browse we will go to the location of our our path where we have saved that file then we will open the file click on okay then the file will open then we will can able to see that file so this is just to open a file which is already saved in some destination so whenever some people give you any file any destination of file not the file just the destination then you have to use that this option you have to click on file then open you have to click on open then you have to browse you have to put the destination what he has provided to you then you have to go to the destination then you have to click on that excel file then you have to click on okay then that file will open so this is about the opening of the file so hopefully you understand the new or open tab how we open a file and how we open a new excel file because these are the basics like a b c d of excel and you have to learn these basics to grow excel knowledge and because you are fresh to this channel so i would recommend you to watch these videos thoroughly because in case you feel bored that these are the basic things if you know already then i will not recommend but if you are totally new and if you have no resources to learn excel and you are learning from videos or youtube then i will recommend you to 
watch this video to get maximum from it like all the basic things which we are teaching you so then we have save or save as button save and save as button are two different roles in excel save is used to save any new file which we have saved recently whereas save as is used to save any existing file in excel so this is the basic difference in save or save as so we can say that save is used to save a fresh file which is not saved any time and which is just a new excel file which we have created but save as we can say when we have opened a file which is already saved in any destination and we wanted to save that file in the same destination or in different definition so we use save as because it's the existing file in some other destination we are just using the save as button to save that that file to some other destination to make the copy of it like in case we delete our original file we have the copied file in different destination so save as is used to save your existing file in different destination to take the copy of it so now we will be learning the different shortcuts of them so shortcuts to open new to open any existing excel file is control plus o so when we will click control plus o together so the file will open the browser will open the pop up it will pop up a window where we have to browse the location of our file then we will click on okay then the file will open now we will be learning the print tab so print tab is used to take the print out of any excel file when uh, when ever we require to document our excel we use it and we take the print out and use the print tab to take the print out of our excel file here we have the option of print open options also where we can see how our file is looking and accordingly we can change it and then we can take the print out of it so print option is also very important option because it is important to take the hard copy of our excel files so whenever we are doing so we have to see how our file is representing how if how it is showing and if we will take the print out of it how it will show so these things we have to see while taking the print out so it is very important to see minor things when you are creating a presentation or you are sharing any excel document to your upper management now the shortcut for save or save as is control plus s so when we will enter the control plus s together the dialog box will open which we have the option for save or save as an existing or a new file so you can use the shortcuts to save your time you can learn these shortcuts which will help you to grow in your organization plus these shortcuts is very important when you have lots of data and you are short in in time so these shortcuts will help you to save your time and it will help you to to grow and it is very important to learn this shortcuts also so to take the print out of any file we have a shortcut which is control plus p so when we together enter control plus p then the dialog box will open which have the option to take the print out of your data and there you have the option of print preview also and you can take the advantage of print preview and you can see your data how it is visible and you can take the print out accordingly so you can change the setting of our of your data 
using the print option. Now the next is share tab. Share tab is used to share the tab to other person or to share your excel file with other person with different modes. We can share our excel file with different people either through mail or we can share it in different options like we can attach our excel file on mail as or we can create our excel file in pdf format so that it will be not editable to other person and they can only see it so it is recommended to send any doc documentation thing in pdf format only because we are sending those files to them only to see not to edit so better to send any file in pdf format but in case we wanted the other person whom we are sending our file to edit like we have a process in place where we wanted to see it to our upper management and we wanted them to change in case any change is needed so we have to send a normal excel file or editable excel file and we can create the password also over it so that and we can share the password with them over the mail so that they can use that password and they can open that file and they can edit it as per the need so always remember that before sharing any file try to save it using save as shortcut in different location or save option and try to send the updated file only so you have to first save your file because in case when you send the file and mistakenly you have closed the file then you don't have the original file you have to refer the mail file only so and it is very important to save your file first because it is very it is important to send the updated file to the senior management so when you save the file then only the updated file will be shared and if you will not share save then when you share the file the last saved file will be attached over the mail and you will not able to send it the updated file so it's recommended that to save your file in each hour or whenever required now the sec the next tab is export tab export tab is used to export data either as a pdf or exp as xps for document content can't be changed only it is created as a pdf document so as we said that we can export our data in pdf for format also when we export our data in pdf format it is not editable and we and the other person will not able to edit anything from that so it is recommended whenever we are sending any important thing which we wanted to send it as a documentation part we can have to extract it as a pdf format only and send it in pdf format it helps us in reading especially for people with disabilities to read so pdf format have more clarity in it and it helps us to read also and it is very important option provided by excel and we can say that pdf is all well always vital whenever we are sending or sharing any file to other person because pdf we can say is not editable plus we can share pdf format to any other person without a worry that our original data will be changed or any other person can change and send the report so now we have the next tab which is publish tab so publish tab is used to create and share any rich visual reports so we can publish our reports using publish tab to different 
platforms either we can publish our report in power bi or some other platform or tool so using the public tab we can publish our report to more people and we can use the power bi on it and we can analyze our tab our data using the power bi using the graphical representation and get the vital important things from it it has two option in it either we can upload or export file to power bi so we have can able to export file which is created by power bi or we can import file in power bi so it has two option provided to us so it is very important to for data analyst to publish reports using this publish tab so now we have the last tab which is option tab so we will be learning the option tab now so option tab is used and it has various tabs in it so option tab we can use to have other features when we wanted to add anything in our excel we can use option tab it which we change as per the our needs so we change option tab as per the needs like it has different features in it through which we can change the out, out, outline of our things and we have the option of add ribbon also so through which we can add things in our ribbon in our excel plus we have quick access toolbar here and in through which we can add the developers tab in our excel and we can do the coding using that so it is vitally important to know that developers tab is added using the quick access toolbar tab which is provided in option tab so we have to click on file then options then we have to click on quick access bar bar then we have to select the developers tab then we have to add that tab and then we have to close then the developer tab will show then we have add-ins different add-ins provided by excel that also is part of option tab then we have customized ribbon then we have formula tab so as we can see say that we can customize our ribbon also according to our needs so we have that option also provided in option tab so we can change them as per our needs with option function we can do different changes in excel as per the needs and add different add-ins in excel which will be useful for us so we can use or add different add-ins in our excel using the add-ins tab and plus we can add different toolbars in excel using the quick access toolbar and we can customize our ribbon also using the customize ribbon tab provided an option and we can change how we wanted our ribbon to show ribbon is just not nothing but like whatever we are showing in the home tab below the home tab and which are part of the home tab all the features or the categories which we are learning is which is the part of the home tab it's all about the it's all a ribbon so ribbon we can say everything which is showing below home tab so this is all about the file tab which we wanted to share in case you have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment section we will see those comments and we will come up with the proper solutions of them and we will share our solutions to you so that you can get the maximum out of the video so hopefully you like the video in when in case you have any problem you can contact us anytime so thanks for watching the video please share it with your friends and family and please support our channel by liking and subscribing thank you bye